Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So in today's video, I am going to show you on how you can automate things using a web-based application called IFTTT or IFT. So to start with, we're just going to type IFTTT on our web browser or to type it to Google. So as you can see, here IFTTT and just click the link and then you are here so to start you need to sign up if you don't have uh, an account yet with IFTTT but if you do then you just have to log in you can either sign up with Google or sign up with Facebook or Apple click on continue with Apple Google or Facebook here I'm just gonna say I'll continue with Google. All right, it says here to help you get personalized recommendations, pick at least one of the following that you use regularly. So, here are the stuff here that might be useful for you or the things that you very useful for you so we have amazon alexa but in the philippines you don't have that one in the u.s in the western countries you do so date and time dropbox google assistant google calendar and etc so i'm just gonna pick on twitter here So you can have a pro, but um, you didn't have to do that. But of course, there's a limit to what you can do with a free account. So you only have, uh, you can only create five applets, I believe, with your free account. So let's just say not now. So let's just click on get started okay so here are the recommendations of the workflow that you can do so let's start creating an applet you can click on get started oh it says here see so ifttt is actually a short for if this then that so it's the best way to integrate apps, devices, and services. We help devices, services, and apps work together in new and powerful ways. So, so how does it work? So basically, in setting up an automation or an applet, first is you need to make a trigger. So what is the trigger? The trigger is the thing that you do on your first application that would as the name itself trigger that would trigger or that would make or that would cause a certain thing or action to happen on your second app so this is the trigger and then this is the action okay so as I said, you can actually explore here and there are plenty of workflows already that you can follow or you can like install and create on your own. Or you can like start from scratch. So there you go. So let's just say let's create. So we choose in Facebook. So let's just say a new photo post by you. So this trigger fires every time you post a new photo on Facebook. So we connect our Facebook.
continue. It's connected already. And then our response or our action would be that. So let's do Twitter. It's going to post a tweet with image. So that's going to be our action. So this action will post a new tweet to your Twitter account with a linked pick the twitter.com image. Please, okay, let's, let's do this. So caption with Facebook link. Create action. Continue. And then finish. right so now let's do this let's try it out let's try to make a post on my wall on my timeline let's have a caption rome was not built in a day Great things don't happen overnight, but rather they take time. So we must be patient. Hashtag patience. So now, all right, let's just feel patience if I just post it. So that's posted already. Uh, let's just check our Twitter account. So you see right here. This one now is our post. Rome was not built in a day. Great things didn't happen overnight, but rather they take time, so we must be patient. So here you go. It's working. So that's how you can integrate your Facebook post on your Facebook profile or a personal profile to your Twitter account. All right, so that's it guys. That's how easy it is to make an applet to integrate your apps together and make an automation via IFTTT or F. So I highly recommend you just, you know, come to IFTTT and just explore the things that you can do. There are like endless possibilities here. So many, many things that you can do that you can integrate together and do an automation. So see it for yourself. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.